Hi, it's Neil. Welcome back to my family room. And if you know me, you know I've been riding my bike and I like to ride bikes. And so, uh, what else do you need on a bike? You need a phone stand. And I have a phone and I have now a phone stand that'll go onto my uh, handlebars. <clears throat> so, let's check this out and see how it looks. It's the HL69. And it says it's PIJU bike phone mount, waterproof for the, uh, I have the 11 Pro and, um, but it looks like it works with other phones as well. This one here is not the 11 Pro. The 11 Pro is what I'm using there. This is just the phone I use to control things in the house. But <clears throat> um, the camera isn't as good for doing these videos. So I'm just doing it from this one. So let's see what's inside. So here's, it tells you it's adjustable sizes and whatnot. So let's see how it goes. It's actually a pretty big apparatus. So let's see what else in the box. So it comes with a, it's a little metal plate. I'm sure this was what gets magnetized. You put that on the back of your phone to magnetize it to connect it up to there. Comes with a little Allen wrench to tighten things up. And then we have the, the bike mount part here. So this is where it'll connect up around the, how is it open? Um, let's see, do I have to push it to the side or something? Well, I'm gonna have to read it, but this is where it'll go around the uh, handlebar and then you'll be able to clamp it and twist it closed and make it tighter and looser So that'll be nice. And then this is where this is kind of cool because this is what I liked about it was it was adjustable To so you can make it up high or down low. Hopefully there's ways to tighten it I think that's what the Allen wrench is for not that side. That side's the The bolt the end of the bolt and then I'm guessing this is gonna be the, the Allen wrench side So once you get it to the right location of where you want it <coughs> this so once you get it to where you want it on the bike you can put it in here and tighten it up like that oh and now it won't go anywhere so yeah, this top one does but the bottom one doesn't anymore because I've tightened it up too much so then, that's how that's gonna work so you'll set it to where you want it to be and it's gonna stay there so let's see what the rest looks like here so this is the uh, case here and Got all sorts of stuff inside of it, so let me open it. <coughs> so opening it, with the little clips on the side here, and then it opens up this way, like this. And then we have this thing here with a bunch of springs on it, which I'm guessing is going to be in here on these. So let's put these on here. So you have the springs um, i should be holding it up a little bit higher so you guys can see the springs on there <clears throat> and then this goes on top of those springs like that see so now did i put it on backwards turn it well now all the springs came out all right let's see so i'll show you what you do here so to make it work you put it on the springs onto these i guess it's really not going to matter which way up or up or down so I put those on and then I put this little magnet piece here. And then once I have the magnet disc, what do I do with the little disc? This disc here. It'll be on the back of my phone. It'll be in this slot here. See, so it's kind of adjustable. Put the phone here so it'll line up with the pull out there and so the way it kind of works is you see it's pushing it's like spring loaded that so then when this is on it I even have a case on mine but let's just line it up so when it's on oops there now we have it on there and whoa check it out it actually works through the case and everything so as I'm riding my bike and it's totally held on there I can even use the camera on that side I didn't take off the plastic yet but I'll be able to use the camera. I can read my text messages, which this is just the phone for the house, so it's all for me. <clears throat> but I can control everything. If I wanna go in there and open up my garage, I can do that from here. So I am golden, so it's really nice. I like the way it just pushes up against it. So you can put any phone in there, even in the case, and it works, which is sweet. And then you'll see this will connect up to here. Probably need to loosen that up. Well, there, there, now that's in there. Tighten it up wherever it goes, and there you go. Then you have this, the phone mount, waterproof, 
nice case mount and it's gonna sit there and work with any phone right now. I put the iPhone, um, I don't know what this one is, the 11 Pro, but it'll work with, or no, this is the iPhone 10. Um, and then the 11 Pro will fit in there, I'm sure, just the same. If there's any issues with it, I'll put it in the comments. But wow, this thing's awesome. And it clips on all the different ways around here, around the sides and around the front. So it is good. And it'll be connected up. So really nice. Leave that thing connected up onto my onto my bike. I won't definitely not have it quite so quite so high up there. Probably something like this, so it'll be lower. But really nice, really well made. Man, this thing is nice. Now I've got it tightened there, and I'll tighten those other boot things with this with the with the hex that it came with so really we are good to go and it's so nice that i can play around on my phone while i'm going i can sit there and do it see what the camera looks like there's my camera the camera works so you can see me through there and that's even with the with the plastic on it so once i take the plastic off it'll be even better but you see how it goes here i'm opening it up i'll take my phone out and I didn't even put it on that metal plate, but because there was so much pressure, you probably don't even need that. But think about it, I just put this thing on there, and now it's not even sliding anyways because it's got a rubber thing on it. So I'm I'm loving this thing. This is awesome. I'm gonna go hook it up. It would probably work on a motorcycle or on a um, <clears throat> anything that you have. It's way stronger than I thought it was gonna be. I was wondering what that little magnet was. I'm like, is it gonna really connect up with the magnet? Because I have some magnet mounts that use this little stuff here for the... Um, in my car that use these little things here so I can have the magnet on the back and connect it up to the car. But man, nothing as good as this. This is really nice. Totally surprised me. Wasn't expecting it to be anywhere near as good. It looks like it's pretty well made here. It's got the little plastic cover and it seems, I think it actually has a plastic, like a peel off of it. So right now you see it's kind of fuzzy. So there, that'll make it even clearer. Now let me take off the one on the back here too. There, now the plastic parts of it are actually see-through. <clears throat> so let's open this up here and I'll show you what it looks like again when I have it on there now without the plastic coating on it. Oh, someone's at my front door. But there, so you can see, and there, now it's so much clearer, way better uh, view because it's just nice and crystal clear and everything works, so it's good. I guess I better go get the door. But thanks for watching, and I will be back next time. Be sure to subscribe and like this video, and I'll put the link for this one in the comments because this one is really sweet. It's the HL69 um, bike mount, and I'm guessing it's by PJPIJU. Really like it. Excellent. Thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.